going everybody anonymous disco here playing some dreams and today we're going to be continuing along on our uh a series going through uh the the opposite day games this is opposite day six uh and if it's if i'm remembering it uh because i played them before but if i remember uh this one correctly this is actually probably my favorite opposite day game this one's really good from the himalayas comes yeti sort of pop once you pop the top, you'll never want to stop. Yes, it's Yeti milk, but that's okay. It's safe to drink, the scientists say. It tastes like ice mixed with snow. To the store is where you must go. Buy some YSP when you get the chance. <laughs> now let's watch the Yeti do a dance. Well, my name is V, and I'm here to say I like to recycle in a major way. After you drank all your Yeti soda pop, the recycle bin is where the can must drop. Don't. <laughs> the time to recycle is about to start. Just grab the can with R2. Come on now, it's up to you. Aluminum doesn't go in the trash. You can even recycle it for cash. Don't just leave it up to poor old me. I need your help. I'm just one Yeti. All around the world, let's recycle, okay? Don't wait till tomorrow. Start today. Sorry to interrupt your game, B. But I've got something the players gotta see. I just made a new game oh, hey. that you can play now. I want the player to check it out, if you'll allow. V, I didn't mean to ruin your thing. Your voice sounds great, you can really sing. I know I've been mean in the past, but that attitude couldn't last. I put you through heck in three and five. Being peaceful now is what I strive. Gone are the days of me being a jerk. So I put on a smile and I got to work. I thought I'd add another one into the mix. I'm changing this. There we go. Opposite day six. Sorry to deceive you, sir or ma'am. The name of this dream is just an anagram. Oh, is it? Nice. In opposite day three. Go and play it and you'll agree. You'll laugh so hard and slap your knee. Then you'll beg me to fill you with more glee. Well, here we go. Step through the door. You're about to see what I have in store. Go through to get your opposite day fix. You're about to experience opposite day six. Oh, because V is six. V is the Roman numeral for six. Very clever. Very, very clever. The longer you stand here, the harder it will be. To keep up this rhyming scheme is pretty tricky. I'm not kidding. Grab the knob with cross. If you wait around here, it'll be your loss. There's nothing secret the longer you wait. You're going to love it. Trust me, mate. Don't drink a lot of soda. It has a high sugar content. But do what you want. It's just my assessment. The real game is a button press away. Press cross now and let's go, okay? Yes, I called it cross, even if it's an X. But that's what it's called. Not trying to flex. Is that what the kids say? Is that the language of today? I can't keep up. Things are changing so fast. I feel old. My youth has long since passed. Are you thinking about V? Don't worry about that, Yeti. The real game is through the door. Pick up your feet off the floor. All this rhyming has got me beat. I've done all I can. This section will now repeat. Get going. I've got nothing more to say. Open the door to start the sixth opposite day. The longer you stand here, the harder it will be. All right, he's repeating. Keep up this rhyming scheme. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here's the real game. Whoa, what the fuck? Here we go. Welcome to a new opposite day game. Compared to number five, it's quite tame. My goal for this one is calmness and peace. Making impossible games needs to cease. There are rooms made just to relax you. You'll be sad to go when it's all through. There's a lot of meditation for you to do. I went too far in opposite day five, it's true. You deserve a nice break after that. So number six adopts a new format. There's a peaceful energy from these red stones. They're free to use, courtesy of Mr. Casey Jones. Sit on the red rocks and chill. I hope to gain some goodwill. See, I'm not so bad. No need to get mad. Yes, I felt superior in the past, but that attitude didn't last. I've made a fun game meant to entertain, to keep you calm and happy without pain. The old me is gone. I'm now sane. 
Not the same, Casey, that you disdain. So go forth and have a ton of fun. A new era of opposite day has begun. Hold square for a history of opposite days games as of November 2019. Just a maze. Do the opposite of what the sign says. I tried to make a hard game, but the player was mean and cheated. I tricked the player into wasting their time and laughed at them. Hidden in literally the easiest game in dreams, text-based, made in an afternoon, wasn't going to be opposite day at first. Opposite four at first. I pulled out all the stops and treated the players so poorly that I lost over 3,000 followers. Hidden in Yeti, Yeti Soda Pop. It's a calm and relaxing experience. An apology for Opposite Day 5. I hope you're feeling at peace. Let your calmness increase. <laughs> if you're worried about V, he's happy, I guarantee. Butting in on his dream filled me with shame. But you can go and see him and play his recycle game. It's pretty fun. And he gives good advice. Recycling is important. We should treat the world nice. He's so cute and cuddly. I'm sure you'll agree. Ah, aren't these red crystals so beautiful? When I found them, I thought they were unusual. Now that I've spent time with them, they're quite the relaxing gem. Sometimes I sit staring at them for hours. They have wonderful calming powers. What was I saying? Oh, yes. Meditate here to reduce stress. To see the Yeti go up the stairs behind me. And you'll be less stressed. I guarantee. Peace comes from within. Let the red crystal soothe your mind. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... I don't know if it's if it's working yet, but <clears throat> Oh, what's over here? Can I get down over there? Feel free to sleep amongst the red crystals. Breathing exercises will calm your soul hold exhale breathe in hold exhale I'm feeling better already even though I didn't do it <laughs> How do I get over there? I don't want. It's kind of too high for me to jump. I'll have to go approach that at another angle. Oh, fuck. Am I stuck over here now, though? Oh, I think I can get out. Maybe I can't. I don't know. Fuck. Maybe I'm stuck. Now I'm rhyming too. Maybe that was the whole idea. Maybe it was to just troll you to go to come down here and get fucking stuck god damn it okay I'll see if I can get out
Okay, so far so good. Um, we're trucking along. We're trucking along. Shit. Oh, God damn it! Now I'm going to be stuck in here. Shit. Okay, let's see here. Let's go to the view. From the Himalayas comes Yeti, so Fuck, I'm sorry. I bet this was all planned out, too. He wants you to go down there so you get fucking stuck and they gotta do this. Sit through the fucking crap again. something the players gotta see I just made a new game that you can play now I want the player to check it out if you'll allow V I didn't mean to ruin your thing your voice sounds great you can really sing I know I've look how fucking pissed off he is attitude couldn't last I put you through heck in three and five being peaceful now is what I strive gone are the days of me being a jerk so I put on a smile and I got to work. I thought I'd add another one into the mix. I'm changing this game to opposite day six. Sorry to deceive you, sir or ma'am. The name of this dream is just an anagram. I teased it in opposite day three. Go and play it and you'll agree. You'll laugh so hard and slap your knee. Then you'll beg me to fill you with more glee. Well, here we go. Step through the door. All right, here we go. Here we go. Welcome to a new opposite. Yes. Oh, fuck. Let's go. You can't skip it. Quite tame. My goal for this one is calmness and peace. Making impossible games needs to cease. There are rooms made just to relax you. You'll be sad to go when it's all through. There's a this lot is the opposite of relaxing. To do. I went too far in opposite day five. It's true. You deserve a nice break after that. So number six adopts a new format. There's a peaceful energy from these red stones. They're free to use, courtesy of Mr. Casey Jones. Sit on the red rocks and chill. I hope to gain some goodwill. See, I'm not so bad. No need to get mad. Yes, I felt superior in the past, but that attitude didn't last. I've made a fun game meant to entertain, to keep you calm and happy without pain. The old me is gone. I'm now sane. Not the same, Casey, that you disdain. So go forth and have a ton of fun. A new era of opposite day has begun. All right, let's go. Try not to get stuck. Oh, it says it right at the fucking beginning and I missed it. At peace. Let your calmness increase. If you're worried about V, he's happy, I guarantee. Butting in on his dream filled me with shame. But you can go and see him and play his recycle game. It's pretty fun. And he gives good advice. Recycling is important. We should treat the world nice. He's so cute and cuddly. I'm sure you'll agree. Ah, uh, aren't these red crystals so beautiful? When I found them, I thought they were unusual. Now that I've spent time with them, they're quite the relaxing gem. Sometimes I sit staring at them for hours. They have wonderful calming powers. What was I saying? Oh yes, meditate here to reduce stress. To see the Yeti go up the stairs behind me. And you'll be less stressed. I guarantee. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Okay, this time we're just gonna go up the stairs and I won't fool around. Mm -hmm. 
If you feel stress rising, try one of my three tips. Uh, make a nice, take a nice walk, uh, or just get fresh air. Talk to a friend or a loved one about fond memories. Turn off your phone and take a long bath. That sounds very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, here's V. Hey, dude. I don't trust that Mr. Casey Jones. I can feel it in my bones. He just creeps me out. Everything he's about. Making games that never end. Something I can't comprehend. Treating you, the player, so mean. At least he's not obscene. He keeps his language clean. At least from what I've seen. <laughs> Those red crystals are a form of mind control. Everything he does is just a troll. What you're hearing isn't my voice. It's his. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> to be a free yeti would be my dream. And to do that, I need you to be on my team. Together, we can escape this living heck. And I can be free from that pain in the neck. I made these special glasses without him knowing. Wear them and his deceptions will start glowing. Wearing them will make his true intentions seen. You'll see for yourself that I can still recycle. Mean. Just press L1 to don the shades. I made them myself. I'm a yeti of all trades. You might have noticed this place has no end, and he was trying to pass himself off as a friend. I've heard this place has an underground. When I search for it, I keep getting turned around. Maybe with more info, we can get out of this place. Find out what you can and come back to touch base. Even if you don't think you should recycle, do it anyways. V says recycle. Hover the imp over... Okay, yeah. Let me put all these cans away, though. Let me see if I can get all these cans away. I'll probably get something real. I got like a, some kind of achievement or some kind of secret um, cutscene for putting all these cans away. I'm telling you right now. Okay, just one more after this. Give me that can. Oh no! Get in there. Okay, there we go. I got all the cans in. Oh my god. Casey says obey. Have fun wasting your time. Huh? Yeti's got a point. When you're ready to leave, too bad. Not gonna happen. Stare at the red crystals and forget it. Boredom. <laughs> no escape. Oh, it's Connie. Actually, don't go anywhere. Just be here with the red crystals. Gaze at the red crystals. Take a picture of them and set it as your phone's background image. Carry the crystal's calming powers wherever you go. Hi, player. It's Connie. What? You don't trust me? I know I've deceived you before, but please believe me. I implore. <laughs> I'm not working for Mr. Cooper Jones. He's lost the trust of us cones. It's time to break free of opposite day. I can help you get far away. I'll make sure you get out safe and sound. I know of an exit located underground. The more time you spend with these red rocks, the more you'll believe Casey when he talks. I don't know where these crystals come from, but being around them puts you under his thumb. Escaping Casey's game will be your end goal. And watch out for that Yeti. He's on Casey's payroll. Oh my god. Just ignore V. He's one lying Yeti. Casey created him as part of his plan. The tricks never end with that man. 
I made some eyewear. Hurry, put them on your nose. Wear these glasses with R1 to see hidden arrows. Forget about the ones that the Yeti gave and meet me in the underground cave. Follow the arrows to a secret stairway. Casey's busy meditating, so it'll be okay. You must hurry. These red crystals will make you insane. The longer you stay, the more they'll drain your brain. So to recap, don't trust the Yeti or Casey Nunn. Search for the stairs using my glasses with R1. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Oh, that was just me. Okay. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Well, I got to go back and see V. I don't know who to trust now, man, but I love V. <clears throat> hey, man, you'll never hear. You'll never oh, believe. you're back. What did you find? Is Connie trying to change your mind? Just like the first part of her name, it's a con. Don't trust her words. She's still Casey's pawn. Throw her glasses away. You can't trust that cone, okay? Now get back to finding the way out. Don't let her fill your head with doubt. Once we escape, you'll see. You can only trust me, V, the Yeti. Okay. I'm really curious what's over there though, but I know I'll get stuck if I go that way. So I'm not gonna do it. Alright, well we'll still follow the arrows because this is uh still our best best way to get out. Keep glasses on while using these stairs, no joke. All right. Did it work? It worked. Does the player even know what the fourth wall is? Insert fourth wall so breaking joke here. Doing? Look, he's fine. Why does everyone think he needs help all the time? In the tutorial, he was acting, okay? All right, I get it. Sorry. But yeah, he's doing well. He's got a Let's Play channel on DreamTube that's getting a lot of attention. Oh, what does he play? Dream. Oh, that makes sense. Don't worry about contradicting yourself or any of the other errors. They can just be passed off as silly opposite day shenanigans. But not too many. People might think they're real errors, which they are. Oi, 
Oh. What you looking at? Want some, do you? Have some of that. Fish, fish. Oh, we're like inside his TV. Have some of that. Oi, you. What you looking at? Want some. Neat. Have some of that. Fish, 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 fish. What you looking at? Have some of that. Oh, okay. I got to follow the arrows. That's one. Okay, that's okay. This way. This way. This way. This way. Uh, huh? They'll never figure out how to leave. When are you going to put me in a game? You were in that Connie's closet. Ah. That was just a short animation. <laughs> the Yeti did it. He was in charge of the whole thing. That's why everyone was rhyming. Because the Yeti made them say it. Because he rhymes the end. Wait, maybe not. I need to explain the red crystals. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, hang on. Is this the longest run-on sentence of all time? Maybe. Let me call the famous world record book. Just a sec. I'm on hold. Hmm. Pretty good tunes for their hold music. Oh, they say that, yes, this is the world's longest run-on sentence in the comma splice category. Okay, where was I? Shoot, I forgot. Yeah, Connie was in on it, too. Oh, the world record people are calling. BRB. Okay, so they're <laughs> flying someone out to give me an award, and I need to clean up and get a haircut in case they want to take a picture of me. Gotta go. Bye! Dear Casey, I wish to complain in the strongest possible terms about the way you ended your opposite day six dream. The dismissal of the entire premise being passed off as a joke <laughs> had an ironically opposite effect. It was not funny. Yes, I thought the rapping Yeti was great and he had mad flow, but not explaining the red crystals was aggravating. And I shan't be playing your game. A game. Sincerely, Keld Jones. Oh, it's Keld Jones. I always said Keld B. Jones. On all counts. Dear Casey Jones, your ending to the Yeti Soda Pop opposite day six game was too abrupt. Albeit absolutely hilarious and left me with so many questions. Where did the Yeti come from? What's the deal with the red crystals? Who is this orange cone character? How do you solve the riddle of the singing golden sword in the underground cave? What? I hope all these questions will be answered in your next game, or else I'll I miss that. Yours truly. Uh, I forgot my name. P.S. Congratulations on the world's longest run-on sentence, comma splice category. To whom it may concern, I'm strongly opposed to the inclusion of letters as a replacement for a proper ending. I'm sure you've spent lots of time making this complaint letter ending, more so than if you had made a proper finale to the story of Opposite Day 6, but it comes across as lazy. Furthermore, I'm sure I could write a longer run-on sentence than you, I just don't have the time right now. Sincerely yours, Dirty Flusher. P.S. Don't you think this whole thing is a little derivative of a Monty Python sketch? Hello, we just love playing video games. They make us happy, but then sometimes we have to go do chores, and those aren't as fun as video games. Oh well, we have to go now. Have a nice day. Yours truly, the m triplets. P.S. What does P.S. mean? Dear Mr. Casey Jones, I wish to complain about the last letter. It wasn't relevant to the conversation about the ending. <laughs> okay, this is just gonna go on forever. It was about video games. Oh, it won't let me exit. Amongst other letters. Also, why is my letter featured? I'm not complaining about opposite day six, nor about. Oh shit. I'm simply complaining about letters about not complaining about opposite day six's ending. Respectfully, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Deceit. Here is the address to complain to. Tristram and his old Phillips, 7:30 Coventry Garden, Saturday near Sunday. I'm stuck. And afterwards, at the Indigo Jones Fish Emporium. I hope that was okay, me ending it like that with those funny complaint letters. <laughs> oh, I could keep going on forever. But 
I need to save something for next time. Uh, hmm, one more thing. The Yeti has taken over. Please, don't trust him. I repeat, don't trust the red... I'm sorry I said that. I must have a cold. Yeah, hey, your arm's really glitching out, man. Sight to behold. Without them, I wouldn't be the same. Spend more time with them, I exclaim. Someday, I'll get them in your world out there. Until then, play my game again. But beware. Trust no one who says the red crystals are bad. Including that cone. She's not your comrade. Stay tuned for the next opposite day. It'll be so fun. You will have to wait a bit of time. It comes out in 2021. We're playing this in the future. The red crystals give you power. Now meditate here for about half an hour. After 30 minutes, this game will end. Farewell and peace be with you, my friend. <laughs> okay all right I, i'm not waiting a half hour but there you go a very opposite day game if there ever was one um I, yeah i just i love v i love v the rap and yeti and from what i remember he he does come in throughout a more and there's there's tons of twists and turns and so anyways we will continue on with our ongoing opposite day series um, cause I always get a kick out of them. They're always good for a few laughs and shit. Um, but I do appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you so much. Uh, like and subscribe on the video if you don't mind. And, uh, yeah, have a good, good rest of your day, everyone. Take it easy.